I really don't think I'll fully heal from it until I get the closure of everything being done with and of everybody being held properly accountable. And he turned me over and had sex with me from the back and he then took me inside and led me to a bedroom. I was pushed down face down onto the bed and I started going in and out of consciousness and the memories get kind of blocky um, but several guys took turns um, having sex with me from behind. My phone was taken, um, my belly button, my nose and my ear piercings were ripped out. It was really, really disappointing. He didn't deserve to be able to go on and do that when I've been facing the consequences for his actions or their actions, all of them. He adamantly refutes the allegation that he forcibly raped this young lady. If she really was raped in that back bedroom, that's horrible. But all I know is that Mr. Ariza had nothing to do with it. And the only thing I can think of as to why she's included him in this civil lawsuit and alleging that he gang raped her is because of money. One of his attorneys called this, uh, said that your intentions was to quote, shake him down for money. Mm -hmm. What does that feel like to you? Honestly, that makes me really sick um, to the stomach. Um, I reported it the day after it happened. I was 17 years old and I had no idea who Matt Ariza was or any of the other people involved. Do you see yourself coming forward and revealing your identity if necessary? Eventually, yes, I do. I need some more time to prepare myself to be ready for it but eventually yes i also feel like i could probably help a lot of people i know that if at the start i had known somebody else that was going through something like this then i might have felt a lot more at ease